ping it up, ladies and gentlemen, because it's time for a lesson in culture. What's up, guys? Chase here. Hello, Holler Vlog. Um, this is recording, so I never know what I was going to use. I'm trying to be on best behavior. Hey, you know whose birthday's tomorrow? Who's? Caitlin Waddle. Oh my uh-huh. gosh. <laughs> Culturally, this will be our very first birthday that's virtual. I don't know how it's going to affect us, but um, you know, I think we can make the most of it. I oh, mean. I was gonna say we should go to Waffle House, but we can't. We can get Waffle House to go and then just sit six feet apart outside. I don't know if you can even get Waffle House to go. Probably not, actually. They I shut down know. over 400 Waffle Houses during this time. That is wow. Are you on the newsletter? <laughs> Let's move on, Chase. <laughs> <laughs> Howdy, fellers. Okay, so uh, one cool thing that we do that's kind of part of our culture is that we go pretty big for birthday celebrations. So a couple of vlogs ago, you saw Chase's birthday. We went out to eat and he talked for a long time about things that he learned anyway. So we like to celebrate birthdays, but it's kind of hard to do that when we're not all in the office. So Ford Ski and I, um, we took, we made her some homemade birthday cards and we drove them to her house at our lunch hour and we uh, kept our social distance and we dropped them off for her. Happy birthday, Caitlin Waddle! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I love it. <laughs> what up, vlog? Uh, today's April 14th, so it is my 23rd birthday. Uh, earlier today, James and Ford brought me some birthday cards by. Um, I want to show them to you guys. So this one is from Ford. He wrote a nice little note inside. And his dog, Remington, wrote a note for me as well. Um, and then this one is James. He drew a lemur, which is my favorite animal. Some other cool drawings inside and cool little note. Um, super sweet for them to come by and bring me that. Maybe we're in quarantine where we can't really do anything. But uh, also this weekend, my fiance got me the best birthday gift I've probably ever received. So he surprised me with this. Um, it is a veiled chameleon. Her name is Willa Pearl. She's pretty stinking cool. Um, I'm going to feed her so you guys can see how cool it is when she eats. All right, I just put some crickets in there. You can tell she sees them now. She's starting to head down there. So, just got out for a run and it started snowing on me. It's April 14th and I have snow all over me. Kind of crazy. Thought I'd stop and vlog it. Oh, getting a little stir crazy at home. So I went for a real run and had to kind of capture this. You don't get this kind of snow in April normally. But anyways, I'm gonna get back to my run. I'll talk to you guys later. I mean, seriously, it hasn't snowed this hard probably in three years. I'm sorry, I keep stopping, but I don't know. I'm kind of enjoying it, it's kind of fun. My hands are froze, but I don't know, it's kind of fun. Just thought I'd document it. All right, I really am gonna finish my run now. It's just crazy. Morning vlog, it's me, as I really am in the mornings. <laughs> Fresh out of the shower. Soaking wet hair with a breakfast protein smoothie shake. <laughs> um, what is in it? You might want to know. Uh, there's some chocolate protein powder, some peanut butter, some spinach, one and a half frozen bananas, and to top it all off, some apple cider vinegar. <laughs> is it any good? You also might ask. The answer is sort of. <laughs> I accidentally put in way too much apple cider vinegar, so it kind of tastes like that's all I'm drinking, but hey, it's good for your skin. 
Hey, as you can see, our office, if you haven't ever watched a vlog before, um, then you may not know this, but our office is just one big room right now, which uh, lends itself to everyone's conversation is uh, going into everyone's ears. Um, but we have taken this opportunity to, um, while everyone's working at home, to work on our culture a little bit. And Josh and I saw a, uh, let's see, not necessarily need, but we saw this as a chance to talk one-on-one -on -one with people without everybody else hearing. And what we did was we scheduled Zoom calls half an hour at a time with each person. And we got the chance to just um, let them be honest, let them be transparent with us and uh, speak to us about what's on their mind, what holes or gaps they feel like our business had all with the caveat that Josh and I were not going to be defensive, we were not going to judge, and <laughs> their job was not at risk by them doing that. And so it's pretty cool. We got some great information. Um, it was like undercover boss, but we weren't undercover at all. Um, took a lot of trust from our team to Josh and I to, to open up like they did. But uh, man, we've got some clear direction on what Josh and I need to focus on for the Holler 2.0. We're super excited about it, super excited to bring it to um, our community, to, to the nation, and uh, um, I, I have no doubt in my mind we're gonna we're gonna be running down a path of clarity and a path of um, success in our entrepreneurship, but also for our clients' behalf as well. So we're excited to bring that to you, and uh, more to come. Um, not necessarily through the vlog, but uh, through our actions and through what you'll see. Um, so here's the next step. Okay, I am halfway done with work for the afternoon. I just finished making a bunch of social media posts for Latin for rest of this week, some Feature Friday stuff featuring a local Appalachian photographer and featuring one of our ambassadors for Latin too, which is pretty cool. It's always really fun to see how each ambassador likes to make their Latin gear their own and just kind of personalize their introduction uh, for social media. So now I'm about to hop on a Zoom call with Josh and Kevin. So that'll be fun, and then I'm just gonna work on some more social media stuff for the rest of the day, so. What's up vlog, Chase here. Um, just talking to you a little bit about how we're keeping um, our organizational culture alive uh, during this time. One thing everybody loves so much about working at the Holler is that we get to have fun, and uh, that we're really close together as a family at work, so we're trying to keep that alive and active as best we can. You know, um, we have Zoom meetings every day, um, about four a day. We're getting ready to switch that to three, but um, just to check in with each other, you know, we're constantly on Slack, um, instant messaging, and just keeping up with tasks together and uh, making sure that we're on top of everything. But one thing that, you know, we kept doing, which is a little strange to do um, remotely, but we still feel like it's important, is uh, we still go through Goal Fest every Monday together as a group. Um, so I share my screen and walk through goals from the previous week and just see how we measure it up. Um, goal Fest is the time where we set goals for the week. Um, we tell each other what we're planning on doing and what we want to get accomplished. Um, and it's just nice to hold everybody accountable. So um, we do it during our 11, 13 a.m. Um, Zoom meeting, which Kevin is usually um, with a client of ours every Monday morning. Um, so he misses their nine o'clock meeting. So we wait till 11 to do it. And uh, it's just nice to have the whole team there and to uh, goop off a little, but also to um, set some really achievable goals for the week and hold each other accountable and just uh, figure out a way that we're gonna be better that week. So that's uh, one way we're keeping our organizational culture alive. And um, you know, we're gonna be back together soon, which is gonna be great. But for now, this this will do. Uh, so I'll talk to you guys soon. The Zoom call is over, so you know what that means. It's time to go get a snack. Okay, was anybody need anything this morning? Anybody need to cry about anything? Go ahead, Kev. I need to know why you've how many days in a row you've worn that pullover. Thank you. Yesterday, I wore my gray pullover with the blue H. So, just one? Yeah. I got okay. two hollow pullovers. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah, and I spilled barbecue sauce on that one last night, so it's in the washing machine. It's going to be beautiful. What's up, guys? Um, so, I'm working from the house again. We're making it work. Um, so, right now, we're working on this really cool collaboration with local businesses. 
where um, we take their logo, put it on a shirt, and then sell that logo to um, people in the community so that we can send a huge chunk of the proceeds from those shirts back to local businesses and um, help people in the community support their favorite um, businesses and venues. So that's been really cool to see um, some collaboration there. And uh, it's been cool to like partner with local businesses throughout this weird quarantine that we're in. We'll uh, give you more information as it happens. Good morning, Bog. This is a beautiful view to wake up to. Pinkies up, ladies and gentlemen, because it's time for a lesson in culture. Just kidding. But I did want to take a second to talk about my perspective um, on the workplace culture of the hauler as an intern. So coming into a new job or an internship can be kind of daunting if you are a newbie and everyone else there already has formed relationships with each other. But for me, I wasn't really worried about that going into the job. Um, James was already one of my best friends and I had gotten to know Ford and Natalie um, a lot better over the last few months during the fall semester and Natalie and I spent a lot of time together on campus. So having the three of them in advance and just kind of getting to know what their daily work schedule was like and just kind of the things that they did and things they loved about the job really pushed me to want to intern there and so um, coming in I didn't have a super high expectation one way or the other of the things that I was expecting but um, whatever they were all my expectations were completely blown away <laughs> um, but the main thing that I love about the workplace culture at the hauler is how much um, everyone strives to bring life into the workplace. A lot of times um, different businesses will talk about needing to have a work-life balance and that is super important and I appreciate that but something that I have always wanted and prayed for was to have a workplace that brought life and community and personal development into the workplace as well as development in a work-related atmosphere or work-related way. And so something that I love about the hauler is how just as much as we are all able to stay focused and driven and on task and accomplish things, we are also all very capable of taking a break and laughing together, joking around, um, playing a game of fair <laughs> or playing pranks on each other or anything like that. And um, Prioritizing the community and the relationships amongst your coworkers is so important. And when you do that and you're able to come together um, in those personal relationships inside and outside of work, I think that it makes your team a lot stronger. And a lot of times it makes them that much more productive as well. Hey, Kevin here. Um, usually, well, not usually, but sometimes on Friday mornings we do views and brews where we take our coffee out and brew it on the trail and um, get a little hike in with the team before work, uh, wake up a little early. Uh, it's kind of fun, but today is not that day. Today is driving and thriving. Yes, driving and thriving. We're going to drive and thrive today. Um, I am headed to um, a little town called Oneida, Kentucky, in Eastern Kentucky, and um, there's a little clinic out there. Need some hours changed on their vinyl sign out front so gonna knock that out and be a nice little uh nice little drive so here we go it's a beautiful morning i don't know if it's doable or not but um here's some random thoughts from kip uh i read an article about how the planets saturn and jupiter and then the moon which is going to be crescent but like the bottom crescent um are going to a line to make a smiley face in May. Another random thought. Where does candle wax go? What is up you guys? Thank you so much for watching another hauler vlog and like and subscribe down below. We will see you next week. Martin,